Here we go, Tim Copper on the International Space Station. There's Tim Peake, British yes. European Space Agency astronaut. My time here on the ISS is paving the way for future missions beyond Earth's orbit, a return to the Moon and eventually onto Mars, whilst at the same time conducting research that will benefit humans on planet Earth and also helps us to better understand how fragile our planet is and how it works so that we can take good care of it. Well, our days Monday through fri Friday are very uh, well organized and well planned. We normally work about 12 hour days, get up about 6.30 in the morning and at seven o'clock we start with a, a morning conference, a tag up with all the control centers around the world that support us. Um, and then we really get on with our work, which can be a mixture of scientific activities. That's the main purpose of this research laboratory in space. So we perform as much science as we can, but we also have to maintain the space station. So there's a degree of maintenance as well. And then if we get any spare time, we'll nip to the window maybe and uh, take a few photographs during the day as well. We spend uh, almost every free moment that we have looking out the window and taking photographs. Uh, we're kept very busy during the day, of course, but in the evenings we get some free time. And the view of planet Earth is just spectacular. We uh, have a treadmill and we have to strap ourselves down to the treadmill with this harness. I would like to relinquish, relinquish command of the International Space Station to my uh, friend and colleague here, Tim Copra. The moment the hatch opened and the airlock flooded with sunlight um, and we went outside, it, it just felt incredible to be in the vacuum of space and just to have that thin visor separating from you, you and this wonderful, incredible view looking down on planet Earth. Human spaceflight is completely a team sport. We have six people up here, but there is an army of people on the ground that support this. We have a very visible role, but they're doing really the, the yeoman's work on the ground to make this kind of mission possible and any future human spaceflight endeavor possible. There are a couple of things that have really struck me. First is just how thin our atmosphere is. And I kind of knew that from seeing photographs of other astronauts, but to actually see it yourself, and especially at sunrise and at sunset. And you can see that tiny, tiny band of which our atmosphere is contained in and how fragile our atmosphere is. I just wish that I could bring everybody up on board here to, to look at planet Earth and to see it through our eyes. Um, and really, uh, it's just a, the most beautiful place uh, I can imagine. And it really brings it home how we need to look after each other and how we need to look after our planet. I don't feel any up or down whatsoever. So it doesn't matter what orientation I talk to you in, my body can just work it out. You can actually play space ping pong. There you go, we can have games on a Saturday and play space ping pong. By far the very best thing about being in space is the view of planet Earth. Let's go take a look.